Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UFI projects. In this video, we'll learn how to create SAP BTP destination as a service and consume the same in SAP UFI application. So you should certainly you need to have basic knowledge of uh, destination and how to create a destination as a service, but also we'll showcase the same steps here. Also, you need to have access of IDE. We recommend to have business application studio access and also business technology platform that is BTP access. Make sure that both of these are connected with single credentials. And certainly basic knowledge of UI will be required. Otherwise, you will not be able to consume it out. So there are different types of destinations in BTP and there are multiple ways to consume them. We have already covered new destination and how to consume in new UFI application. We have covered in two different videos regarding cloud founder destination and how to utilize the uh, access app.json file and also utilize the ui fiber file to consume this cloud founder destination in this particular video we'll be focusing upon destination as a service so we have also created a blog for you uh, we will add the link in the description of the video we'll also add the other videos related to destination in the description so in this particular article we have covered the theoretical part as well as the steps to create a destination in different environments you know in neo and cloud foundry and even multiple ways to consume it so like uh, we have used uh, the consume consumption part of uh, cloud foundry one and also we have something called the consumption part of destination as service so it's very important to know what is a destination as service so we'll add some theoretical articles within the video description where you can go and learn the use cases so very simple use case is like apart from other destinations that are created in the within the btp environment like uh, if i go to the trial home and enter into my sub account so you, you might have already created a destination here right this is at btp level it means whatever you are creating here will be available to the entire btp applications entire btp spaces and all but also there is one something called uh, destination as service in which you create destinations in form of service and in that use case you can use the destination links even in the services or node js uh, you know uh, implementation of backends so it will be a api so api can be utilized in any ways you can even call it from postman you can call it from different application it will be a rest api and the best part is like you can even change the you know values and and uh, uh, keys of the destination so we'll check it out right now so we'll search the destination in the service marketplace you see destination service you click here to create one if you are using a trial version you will have option to create the light one but also there are some paid ones where uh, we have better features cf EEST and create one. So you can go to your instance and see all the services and subscriptions that you have made. So here it got created. So when you click over it, you can manage instance by clicking here. It will open up the cockpit for destination. Also, you can add service keys so that you know you can have uh, uh, authorizations on top of destination. You can also bind applications. So when I say binding, it means uh, with the help of you know app router also you can access this particular destination. So app router will have a link, right? Every time you create a UFI application, you create app router. App router is either deployed over the BTP platform like this one, BTP app router or it is created within the UI application, you know, managed one. So manage and standalone, two types of app routers are there. So both of them can be bounded within the destinations. In this way, you will be able to access the destination with the help of app router. So this binding is done. If I go to home page of destination, you see this destination as a service also provides the same structure and layout as a destination of btp platform this one see so we can 
either create or download this destination that I already have. Save it here and click on upload by clicking import destination and it is, has been imported. We we'll call it Northern Test. Click on save. When saved, you can check the connection. Looks fine. Great. So you have created a destination as a service in BD portal. You have also created a destination. Now we will move towards the business application studio where we'll implement the consumption part. So we have already created a BTP application and within that we have already created a UFI application like this. And also an app router is added, the same app router that uh, was bounded to the destination. Perfect. So if I go back to the space and click on the space, you see there are no like applications that are deployed, you know, in terms of backend services or any other services not, not deployed, right? So no application is like visible here. So if I go back to the web ID part or the business application studio, here we have added a piece of code, this one. And here we have written the name of the destination, the type of the service, the for our use case, it is a managed service. Service name is destination and the service plan is light. If you remember, these things were uh, like observed during the creation of the destination. We can proceed with the deployment. So for that, I will just open up the YAML in the terminal and write npm install. install mbt build so within the archive folder this mbt will be build Now you can proceed with deployment. Remember in my, in my use case, I have already configured the org and the space. In case it is not configured, you have to configure it using CF commands and provide your credentials, your login credentials. You see, something is going regarding the Northwind test service. It is now creating a resource for destination over BTB portal. So let it happen. We'll just refresh here to see. Anything yet? So you see the name of the destination service that you have used is even deployed in, in the form of instance and within this also you can bind your app router.
so why a new destination is created reason being the name of the destination that i mentioned there is this one northern test right so in place of this name if i have used the name of the one that i have already created so it would not create a new one it would have used reuse this particular destination service so i can create a destination service directly from the mta file i can create a destination service also from the b2b portal so these use case i wanted to show you so yeah that's it we have successfully created destination from both b2b portal and business application studio deployed it and even binded with app router now this destination service is available for your implementation in back end as well as front end thank you very much we'll meet in another video so